Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. We deliver successfully. There is no cause for alarm. You are right, my friend. You see, any man in my state will also become and allow the gods to take charge of everything. The gods are already in charge. And I believe the gods. That is why I have come to your palace to celebrate with you beforehand. <laughs> Mm. The Queen has just delivered a set of twelve. Oh! May the God my Lord be pleased. I thank God for giving me the privilege to see my children. Yes, sir. Uh, nurse, what did you say the agenda is again? Really? Set of Igwe! <laughs> May you live long. Oh, what would you eat? Anything, Igwe. What would you drink? Okoro, I need a cow. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't clean cattle, llama, or food grown bull, any of these places, I will forgive you. If we don't bother, why am I your friend? Why am I your childhood friend? <laughs> what is this? This is not the face I want to see. The queen is bleeding. Come and see. Oh. I think we need to take her to the hospital. Okay. Okay. Call the guards. Let the help to carry her to the hospital. Um, nurse, let us go. Let us go. just said they are asleep so we seek your permission for him to go in and uh, see them that's okay i'll take him thank you Igwe. Mm. 
Liquid, yes. We have seen those children. That reminds me. They look like their mother, even the pointed nose. Too much. God. Who is the elder between the two of them? Um, Igwe. This is the question I have asked you before. Who is the elder between Obinna and Nana? That is okay. Let the children survive infancy first. For I know that growing up without a mother is a very big tax. Um, my wife will be buried in a month's time. Oh. Mm -hmm. No, when you go to please pass the message to them. I want you to, to take care of my children. Please, you know what happened to me. I will pay you, take care of you, whatever you need or want, I will provide for you. But, I don't want anything to happen to my boys. We, we will try our best. We are going to take care of these children as if they were our own. We will take care of them just as a mother takes care of her own children. Even do not go. I'm happy. Vera, you will take care of Nana. Why you, Cecilia? You will take care of uh, Odina. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Um, I am very happy to inform you that the mourning period of your father, our native way, will be over in one week time. Yeah. Let me also inform you that your father's assets will be shared between you two. That's, uh, that's quite impressive. You see, um, Uncle, I tell people that uh, I'm very happy to have you as my father's best friend. Uh, because the position you occupy in this family solves two major problems for my brother and I in the areas of uh, fatherly advice fatherly direction you're doing absolutely well so thank you very much i really appreciate it thank you too my son but you see i am only doing that which i am supposed to do why am i your father's friend um but one more thing that will give me great joy is if both of you share his property equally to avoid any form of rancor. Oh, cool. You don't have to worry yourself about that. You know that here is my blood. He's my twin. So definitely we're not going to have any problem sharing our father's work. And uh, we promise we will not involve the lawyer or the king's man. You are truly sons of my late friend. He will be very happy here if I do this to me. This Zemo is outside the palace. He requests to see both of you. Oh, let him in. Oh, <laughs> no, my son. He cannot come in. According to the customs and traditions of our land, no one is at home. Let's go out and see him together. Okay. Mm -hmm. The great son of Chedi Kobe, the man who sees beyond what mortals can see. 
I greet you. You are welcome. The son of a new. I greet you too. Your family values, relationships, more than gifts and position. It is interesting to note that ever since your friend the Igwe died, you still see this family as yours. Hmm. It's commendable. You shall never lack. For the spirits are happy. You're welcome, Ezemo. My children, you shall live long. The past looks better than it was. Only that is not here now. The morning will soon be over. It's fading away. It's interesting to say that you really gave your father a befitting burial. And that was great. And oh, Igwe, wherever he is, show be happy. Thank you, Ezemo. The oracle of hills and stones. The Vietnamese has said that those of my family shall provide the next successor to the throne. And it will be between both of you. This must happen before the next three moons. The fall of this community needs someone to hold it. Ezemo, once again, I greet you. Up to this minute, we are still ignorant of whom the first son is. Your wife's ignorance is a essential part of knowledge. The girls are not stupid to send me here. Let those on us do their own part. And the family do its own part. Then, provide who the forholder should be. Then other things will fall in place. The family has said, Mm -mm. You do not need to ask further questions because the gods have just decreed. Concerning what the SMO said, tell me what you think. You are the king. Yes, because you command more respect than your brother Obina. Even him listens to you. So what are we talking about? Do you think I should call Obina and speak to him? No. Do not talk to him concerning it. But if you should bring it forward, then you can talk. Never give a man room to say that you are in competition with him. My prince, talent is here to see you. I'll be with her shortly. Yes, my prince. Good. You see, I'm a little bit worried. Yes, I am. Nam, mm. the truth is that those that delivered her of her babies wanted to mark who was first. That was when your mother's complications started, so they couldn't mark. Mm. So what do we do now? Mm -hmm. Nam, kingship is not something anybody fights for. <laughs> for the gods choose who they want to make king. So relax. Adazazazo. Hmm? <laughs> that is okay. I think I'm good with that. <laughs> my king. Yes, my darling. I'm so happy for you. But then, 
there's something you know you have to know about leadership. All right. You can't just sit down and expect anything to be given to you. Okay, tell me. What do you mean? For you to be king, darling, you have to take it by force. You have to earn it. Nobody will hand it over to you even if you deserve it. Fight for it. My darling, this crown looks so good on you. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> okay, let's just... I think you're right. Uh -huh. You see, this is why I, I always want you by my side. <laughs> well, I am here now. Mm -hmm. So tell me, you know I missed you so much. Uh, I know. And um, everyone's been asking after you. Yeah, how is Mother Vera? I see she's taking very good care of you. She's yes, fine. So I miss her. <laughs> she misses you too. So tell me, you know you're not leaving today, right? Oh, my king, you know I don't spend the night outside. Ah, uh, in other Besides, words. Besides, I didn't even tell my dad that I'll be sleeping out. Oh, so you've got a coffee, yeah? Something like that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. Yeah, so when are you coming to see the king? Mm -hmm. My king? Yeah. I will let you know before I leave. <laughs> I was going to show you something. Oh, okay. I saw a croc somewhere. Oh. But trust me, it's not, it's not, um, it's My not king. aggressive. It's, this, uh, it's right there. So that is the thing. Um, that reminds me, I heard what you said on the telephone. Mm. And, um, it goes to show that you're more smarter than your brother. <laughs> you see, um, I want you to also know this for sure that um, when the gods say that you'll be king, you'll be king. It doesn't mean you fold your arms or you rush it. Right. Hmm? So, what does that tell you? Walk towards it. Very good. You're not only smart, you're intelligent. You see, I don't want. Um, us to be having meetings everywhere anymore because you know people will surely spot us together mm. and it will get them talking. Mm. You know, this world they have ears, but not as big as mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, thank you very much. I, I really do appreciate um, your encouragement. Thank you. And um, one thing for sure you'll be king. You'll be king. That I assure you. Lastly, go and get married. You need it. Mm. So, that's just it. Thank you so much, Nai. I have to meet the people on my left hand side. Alright, thank All you. Right. Mother. <laughs> Please, meet the girl I want to marry. Mary. <laughs> I am quite sorry that the news is coming to you late. You know what the tradition forbids. That you do not discuss marriage affairs when morning. But now that morning is over. I am glad to announce to you that I will love to make married here on my wife. That's a good thing. I'm a little. I'm you're welcome. Thank you. Hey! Hey! Nemo! You're welcome. Thank you. Hey! Hey! My prince. E.K. I couldn't find Prince Inanna. Felix said he left a while ago. Oh, I see. Before I forget, Mother, I'll be meeting with her people Next week, Sunday to be precise, uh, mm. you know, to begin with the marriage arrangements. It's, it's a good thing. Eh? Mm -hmm. Married, you're welcome. Thank you. This is your home. You're welcome, my dad. Hey! Mwanka, you're not
Does any of you know Merit? The girl Obina wants to marry. I've not seen her before, but she looks nice. I've seen her. She comes around sometimes. She doesn't stay long. She keeps to herself. She doesn't talk. Okay. I have not seen her. It's okay. 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 Don't tell me that nonsense! Don't give me that crap! Why How dare you? Obina! You fix a date for your introduction with marriage without my consent? What, what has come over you? to tell me she's pregnant. I called your full survey to inform you as my blood, but no response. So I decided to go see her people. In my opinion, I thought you would understand. Tell me that sentimental bullshit, Obina! Now listen to me. Marriage has offended me too. And we're talking about marriage and pregnancy here. And you're here, standing, and treating this situation like an oversight. Don't, don't tell me that! Where's my crop? Nah, nah. Nah, nah. <sighs> oh. Obina, your brother is a slow poison. I mean, nobody knows when he was planning for this marriage. It all came as a surprise to everybody. Even I myself do not know this merit. I knew her. I have always known he would get married to her. But making that decision without my consent is what I am concerned about. He looked for you everywhere. He even called you on the phone. No. Obina should have waited for me. I mean, we're brothers. We do not have parents anymore. I thought we were supposed to do things together as twin brothers. Listen. For Obina to go that way. Is very fast. Obina has a plan, which is why he refused to wait. No, no. The mistake has been made. Allowed him and support him, so it will look as if you're not happy for him. Mother Vera, you don't understand. If Obina gets married before me. It shows that he is more responsible. Are you sure? Let me explain to you. You see, traditionally, a married man is more valued than who gets married before who also counts, before you begin to talk about children. Now, it is obvious if Obina gets married before me, he's going to have children before me. So where do I not stand in the eyes of tradition? Don't you think about that? <laughs> oh, Obina, you have brought me a very fantastic news. Thank you. I am happy. Hmm? I want to assure you, I will be there in person. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you, I will personally make sure that this event becomes a huge success. Not only that, other neighboring kingdoms will hear about it. You have nothing to worry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Obina, my son. No, no. Uh, you sent for me, Uncle. Mm, my son, I did. <laughs> we were just talking about your brother's uh, introduction. And I noticed you are not with us. 
That was why I seek for you. So please, join us. Uncle, my brother has a plan. Plan? You see, choosing a date for his marriage introduction without my consent does not make sense. I find that very, very disrespectful. And he cannot say it happened by accident. So I do not want to get involved. He can carry on with his plans. Thank you. Yeah, hey, you cannot walk out on me. Don't walk out on me. I am still talking to you. <laughs> Obina, is this true? Uncle, my wife to be came to tell me she's pregnant. Out of joy and happiness, I went to search for my brother, but I could not find him. I called his phone several times, but he did not answer. Uncle, you know how these things work with most families. This girl told me her pearls were here on her neck. So I promised to see them. I never said I was going there to, to, to plan marriage, whatever. I never said I was going there to pay a bride price. <coughs> Uncle, I have tried to talk to this boy several times. He has refused to see visits with me. What else do you want me to do, man? Adam, I will see him and talk to him. Hmm? I don't think at this stage now there is any cause for alarm. Don't worry. Oh? Um... Been now. This drift between you and your brother must come to an end. Mm. Tell me, what is it you want him to do so that we resolve this matter once and for all? So that we can at least Uncle. forge ahead. Uncle, without your respect, I'm sorry to cut you guys short. Yes. Please, can I have a word with my brother? That will be good. Okay. It's okay. Go with him. Hmm? Hmm. Children. What they don't understand is it is not so easy to deal with human beings. Hmm. I am not saying that whoever that wants to get married should not marry. All I'm saying is that let there be cooperation among them. It has been the tradition of the two brothers. You're right, Vera. But since things are like this, what do we do so that we can move forward? Hmm. Let's Obina change the date. So that peace will reign. Yes. <laughs> Vera, but you still don't understand that it doesn't make sense. The family of the girl are aware of Obina's visit. They are not aware of the trouble at home. If this is a mistake, it has been done. There's no need crying over spilled milk. Merit's family have been notified about this coming. So there's no need to change. Obi, Ngwasumi. Yes. Obina has vehemently refused to change his own date. Uncle, please, ask Unana here why I have to change my date. <sighs> Good. Why? Can you tell us why? Obina, because my introduction must be on the same day. You mean you fixed the date of your marriage introduction, same as that of your brother? And what is wrong with that? Vela! Vela! Yes, Uncle, you come. And you go around... Where is Cecilia, yeah. brother? I'm here, Uncle. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. 
Do you know who he wants to get married to? No, he has not shown me the person. Vera, do you know who he is to get married to? No, Uncle, but I know who the person will likely be. <laughs> Look, let me tell you this clearly. You just have to forgive and forget whatever it is right now. But what I will not support you is fixing your marriage introduction date as that of your brother. Unless you want to tell me that you are not happy with him getting married or getting married to the girl the gods have blessed with the fruit of the womb. Let me tell you bluntly, if your father was alive, he will equally say the same thing. You know, uh, I know what this is all about. You know nothing. Yes, I know what this is all about. But it's alright. That's okay. It's that okay. is just you. Just have to calm down. It's okay. You see that? I have seen, and I am convinced. Please, I beg you, forgive us. I do not want um, our introduction to create problems between you and your brother. This problem is easily avoidable. Please forgive your brother. Have you finished? Mm -hmm. You see, my darling, it is bad manners to silence a fool. However, it is also cruel to let the fool keep talking. That being said, I have heard you, but you must also know that I value my time. In other words, I have something to do, so you're going to have to excuse me. I know there are issues in this kingdom. This palace has suffered a great deal. It is just that Nana feels Obinna beat him to the game because he got married first. Rather, whom the God chooses. Oh. It's okay. I know what to do. I will go and see Ezemo. I will discuss it with him, and I am sure this matter will be resolved once and for all. Thank you. It's okay. Thank it's you okay. so much, Uncle. It's okay. I am worried since this problem started, I've not slept. Mm. Yeah? Uncle Okulu, please, I beg you, please do everything in your power to calm this situation. I will. Please. I will. I will. I will. Thank you so um, much. Before nightfall, I, so that you give me those things and I should be on my way. <laughs> I greet you as a mo. I will call you my son, Obinna. Thank you. Thank you. As a mo, I yes. <laughs> I'm here to officially inform you that I'll be going for my marriage introduction. Ah, that's great. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, what would that be? On Sunday in Irobo village. Oh, Irobo, our neighboring community here. Bam. You see, our people say, honest man marries very soon, but the wife never. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, don't worry. Thank God you. will bless that marriage. I say. Go with bless the marriage. He's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, <laughs> thank you, Ezemo. The brother is here. The prince, Nana. <laughs> I can
can see my brother Obina has come to bribe you. <laughs> but listen to me. I might not be good at making friends, but I certainly know how to keep an eye on the enemy. What is going on? What is the implication of that statement? Is he not happy with you? Naya mm. Madi, my son Nana, he's doing his marriage introduction on Sunday. Mm. Yes, he told me to inform you officially. Oh, that is good. Nana has done, has done well for himself. Yes. Um, I will get the other elders informed so that they can follow us. Exactly. Yes. That is why you were called. Mm -hmm. Nayamadi. Mm -hmm. I don't want my son to lack the presence of our elders. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. That should be there. Okay. This is unacceptable. I am not going to take this. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Uncle, I never knew. There's a more takes bribe. I went to see the SMO and I saw Obina, my brother, whining, dining, fraternizing against me. This is unacceptable. I can't take this. I have always known the SMO never liked me. In fact, this is the litmus of what is about to happen. And he goes around telling people he is my brother. He goes around telling people I am his twin brother. How can I be his twin brother if he treats me like this? No! He is not my brother. I can't be a brother to that fool! Calm down, Nana. Calm down. Eh? Our people are not stupid. Our people are not stupid. His child can get only a very few people. Few people. Eh? Let us just keep watching. Those child will not get us. None of us. Not you. Not I. At all. You hear me? Calm down. Don't hold me, Gidda. Calm down. That's fine. That's fine. I am calm. Thank you, Tizi. I am so, calm. Please. I am calm. Calm down. Nana, no, no, calm down, man. I am calm. Don't worry. Calm. Hey, Amadi. Why is he going this to? This boy, this boy. My love. You know you are not alone in this body, right? You crying right now will only affect my unborn child. I want you to forget about whatever my brother said to you. How can I forget? Unless my memories are wiped to me. I know. But it's better to forget than to remember and regret, they say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry he called you a fool. You and I know you are not a fool. How's my baby doing? Yeah, baby's fine. That's good. Come here. My in-laws, you are welcome once more. According to our tradition, merit is not only my daughter, but our daughter. Um, how we call her? And that if she's aware of your visit. Hey, don't worry. Adania! Adania! Daddy! We have visitors here. Are you aware of their visit? Yes, I am aware. Should we accept the drink from them? Yes, you can accept it. <laughs> okay, you can go. 
divine law. You are welcome. You see, we can go ahead and do whatever we want to do. Hey. Let us quit. You are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Traditional marriage uh, without his kinsmen is a family. He has done it. He has done it. He has done it. He has done it. Hey. It's okay. Hey. Just be hey. just be calm. Yes, you did your marriage just, just in one day. I am the true son of my father. Your yes. The gods you are never, introduced. You know, God can never swear. and you finish your traditional marriage just in one day. Hey, hey. Yes. Years ago, I was a stranger in this palace. But now, this is my home. This is my palace. This is my husband's house. That being said, there are rules and regulations that you all must follow. My husband will never eat at the palace dining table. Rather, he'll eat in my room. I want to live long. None of you will touch his clothes. None of you 
will wash his clothes without my consent. Do you understand? You call talent? You will address me as your queen. You will all address me as your queen. What did I say? I didn't hear you. Good. That being said, I asked for everyone here to be present and it took you hours. What's the meaning of that, if I may ask? I see my husband has given you so much power that you suddenly think that you're something or someone. <laughs> you know what? That power my husband gave you, I take it back from you. Because you're nothing but a palace maiden. You will not ever address my husband as your son. He's not your son. He's your king. And everyone here would address my husband as the king. That being said, you will never flaunt my orders. Because what a man is not willing to lose, he did not lend out. Oh, shut up. I'm still talking. Don't you ever talk when I'm talking. I need all of you to get out. File out the same way you filed in. And as for you, let this be the last time you will walk into my husband's room as if you're sharing a bed with me. I will not share my husband's affection with you. I will not share my husband's time with you. I will not share the attention with you. You will never ever set your foot in my husband's room without my consent. Do you understand? Get out. Come back here. Let this be the last time I call your attention and you take hours to enter. Today you do that will be the last day you breathe in this palace. And as for that woman, forget her. That woman you insulted today is like a mother's man. Why should you humiliate her in front of my subjects? When a man marries a woman, he leaves his parents to become one with her. You know what that means? It means that the wife becomes his mother, becomes his wife, and becomes the bearer of his children. I, talent Honora, I will not share my husband's affection with any other woman, talkless of a maid. We should be more concerned about the crown, the throne. My Lord, in order for you to become king, you have to have the heart of a lion. Do you think you're going to wear that crown with a heart like this? No. Kingship is like gold. It has to go through the furnace for it to have that value that you so seek. Leadership is like a rubber band. It's actually more useful when it's been stretched. All you should care about right now is how you're going to sit on that throne. And forget about that woman. You even told her you would send her out of the palace if she does not report to you earlier. 
how could you do it was just a threat to put her in her place for now the throne should be our focus my lord how you need to wear that crown that is all we should care about i am the voice of the people <sighs> we need to listen to the people you have to wear the crown first before the people will even listen to you. <sighs> My king. Something like this was going to happen. A girl that do not have the slightest idea of how much you have suffered for me and my brother will look you in the face and say your work as a foster mother in this palace has ended. My brother and her husband will hear this and not say a word. Isn't that just amazing? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, she, forgive her. She doesn't know what she's saying. Mm. She knows. Ah. She knows. I think this is the plan between the husband and the wife. It's okay, Vera. It's okay. Report this matter to Nana. Let's see what he will do. He has seen me. I told him. But he did nothing about it. Uh -uh. He just left like that. Nana's marriage has destroyed me. Mm. This is the outside. They want to see you. All right. It's okay. It's okay. This is more with greetings. Greetings. Since the family of Ozoma has not decided on who the king will be based on who is the elder between both of you and the two of you have not decided who to step down for each other we have come up with another decision you invite three native doctors you know that have do good for this town or even beyond let them ask the gods who is the elder between both of you. But, um, wise one, I am sure you know the best of native daughters around. No! You have your kinsmen around you who know them like I do. I want to be free from this. To avoid your brother who sees marriage invitation as bribery. You call the DBS on your own.
Nana is the first to come out of the mother's womb. Can't you see what you have I say? Or are you blind? You will really see. It is you that is blind. entertain any form of fight or quarrel in this palace. Please go. How dare you? Do you know who you are talking to? Or do you want me to strike you with epilepsy? Thank you very much. You may leave now. <laughs> Same words I spoke with the Igwe years back is coming to pass. I told my friend, the late Igwe, they are your children. All he simply needed to do was to appoint between Obinna and the Nana, who is the elder. But he said, no, let them survive infancy. Where are we today? They have survived infancy. But where has this led us to? If only he had listened to me, this kingdom will not face this present rancor. We wouldn't have faced this present disgrace. <sighs> now that the DBS were confused, what would be our fate? To live without a king? Mm -mm. No, it is not possible. Mm -hmm. Uncle Okunu, mm -hmm. 
I don't even know what to believe anymore. That the guards fought the native doctors. If it were so, who asked them to Why? do so? Uncle, I suspect sabotage. Mm. Mm -mm. The Dibias themselves were already having a hot argument. They had a misunderstanding over what they have said. Nevertheless, we the elders must see as a more tomorrow. He also understands what they have said. My king, I told you! I told you this time! She never said that! <laughs> Thank you so much, the queen of my kingdom. My king, you are my crown. Without you, I have no head. Without you, I am nothing, my king. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Oh. Oh. My king. Darling, did you see what I saw everything! I was there watching! Do you believe me? You believe me? I know, my king. I fell in love with the right one. My enemies <laughs> will shut up. Of course, they will shut up. <laughs> my king, my king. Let's celebrate. Who is the best of them? Ah, uh, me, yes. <laughs> Doctor's support said that Nana is the first. No, is there more? I totally disagree. Those native doctors were confused. So I suggest we seek for another set that are more organized. Hey! That is completely impossible. There were three wise men, and two said I came out first. And the majority they say carries the vote. So it is only fair we continue this, this meeting based on that judgment. Oh, nah, nah. Our struggles in life at times, or most times, is a little preparation for some things that never happen. When I asked the Uzama family to give us a candidate, I was aware that we do not know who the elder is. But well, forgive me, for I am but a messenger of God. Of Yamini, the oracle of hills and stones has said that the last is the first. For he has the first to go first and make way for his arrival. Orina Uzoma is our next king. No! That is the message of the gods. That is unacceptable! Orina cannot be the king! Ezemo, how much did my brother pay you? Tell me! How much did he give you and I'll double it? Why are you being so unfair to me? Why in the world have you seen the last become the first and the first become the last? My son, in the case of twins, it happens like that. Based on the people's culture and tradition. Hmm? In that case, 
We must settle this matter in the court of law. Nonsense. Is not the talking type. This struggle is going to turn him into a talkative like his brother Nana. Who did I just hear you call a talkative? My husband. Are you mad? I'm talking to you, the king of this land. I'm talking to you. Answer me before I give you. Stop me, talents. Stop it. So if I'm around you, you will slap a pregnant woman. Is she carrying a gun? No, no, no. You should have let her slap me. I will not fight you. But one thing I know for sure is that the particular hand which you use will be detached from your body. I will throw you inside this water. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything. Look at this loser. You married a loser and you have the nerve to talk to me in this palace. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The gods be praised. My yes, Emperor, uh, the king. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, you care. Who go okay? You cheer one. Father. And then there. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. You are welcome. Uh -uh. Mm. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Your faces are bright. What's the secret? My love, I have been chosen by the oracle of his and stones. Uh -huh. Of Yamili, <laughs> I am the next king. Daddy. Daddy! Very, very sure. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I told you. No, I told you! Only God can make you a king even when you did not seek it. Yes. I'm happy! <laughs> Finally, my love. Hello, hello! <laughs> Daddy! I knew it! Look at Ezemu that is supposed to be upright, allows himself to be bought by a mere child. Obeina. Challenge, your father disappointed me. He was the only one that agreed to what the Ezemu said. What did he say? Your father said, and I quote, in the case of twins, the first can also be the last, based on the people's culture and tradition. Your father's exact words. What's going on here? You sent for me. Oh yes, my brother. I arranged for this feast. Come on. I planned for this feast. A feast that will end the problems between two brothers. Please, let's put our swords back in his pouches. We don't need all this. Talent, please. Nana, I cannot rule without you. You are my blood. Please, please help. The two of you are from the same womb. He's the flesh of your flesh and the blood of your blood. Please. I don't understand. Obina. 
Obi, now you want me to feast with you. Just like you said. After conniving with the Ezemur to take away my birthright. But I did it. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me ask you a question. If I feast or celebrate with you, isn't that an abomination? Of course, darling, of course. You must be joking. Let's go back. Oh, no, no. I'm ready to give up the throne for you. Yes, I want peace to reign, please. I'm tired of this fight. You are my blood, my twin brother. I'm tired of fighting with you. Did I hear him right? I think I did. I think I did. Obina. I can't do this anymore. Nana, I am going to inform the elders tomorrow morning that I am no longer interested. Yes. Obina, is this going to make you happy? Did I hear you right? Oh, yes. I mean it. <laughs> Wait. Just like that? You are my twin brother. You are my blood. After everything that happened between us? Yes. You're going to give up the throne for me? Mm -hmm. To be king? Yes. Let peace reign. I need peace between us. Please. Obina, is this you? It is me. Come here. <laughs> I love you. Everyone. I can't believe this. Let peace reign. I am tired of fighting with you, my brother. Then what are we waiting for? Let's eat! Let's celebrate! Let's eat! Obina! Obina!
is it more? I had the feeling that you are here. I hope your visit this hour is for the betterment of this household. Once again, Zemo, I greet you. Greetings to you, my king to be. You are son of a king. Grow your tyrants in your blood, Obina. <laughs> I was instructed by our family to visit you this hour. A four of this kingdom will be handed over to you tomorrow night. It shall happen in this palace. It's an occasion only the titled men will attend. Obina. An occasion only the titled men will attend. This is the message of the gods. Good night. Some worthless, nameless persons in this kingdom had the effrontery, the gods, to poison my brother. Poisoned? How? When? I, I, I don't understand. Is it food poisoning or projection? Let's pray and hope nothing happens to him. Are you crazy? 
How could anyone even imagine I poisoned my brother? Listen, I know I get upset sometimes, but not to the extent of having my brother poisoned. I know. I know you don't have that kind of heart. But out there, will people see it that way? I don't want anything that would stop us from getting the crown. Talent, you know, Obina hasn't opened his eyes or spoken to anyone since yesterday. And I thought you were going to come up with a solution, but here you are talking about what people would say. Now listen, and listen good. If you have a hand in what happened to Obina, I command you to speak because everyone is a suspect. God, I greet you. My ancestors, I give supplications to you. Speak for my entire household and everybody around the neighborhood. In the presence of Chukwu, the all-knowing deity, the mother Ed, I greet you. Bless everyone that had opportunity of sin today, we greet you. It shall be well with all of us. Amen. What happened? What did you do to my, my brother? What did you do to my brother? I command you to undo whatever you have done to my brother or I'll kill you. Mama, have you gone mad? How dare you hold yourself more by the neck? He was the last person that saw Obina last night. Now, Obina cannot open his eyes or talk to anybody. I command you to undo what you have done to him, or else I'll kill you. I was with hmm. Obina and the wife, even with the guard. They can be a witness. I didn't do anything. Listen, I can understand that my brother and I have our differences, but I do not wish him to die. So I command you to undo whatever you have done to my brother, else, including you. Cecilia, President Lana gave an order that nobody should leave the palace. That is good. So that we will know where the problem is. I'm not going anywhere. I am here. My lady, President Lana said you should meet him at the hospital. I hope you know your way to that place. I know. Okay. see me? Yes. Can you see us? Please. Huh? And what should I marry my wife? What? Take good care of her, my unborn child. <laughs> Make sure there is peace in the palace. I do not want the mistake we made to repeat itself. <laughs> 
But Obina, why are you talking like this? Are you going somewhere? <coughs> how can you how can you ask me to marry your wife? What for? But you're here. L -l 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 Listen, I, I don't I don't want to be king anymore. I need you to get well no. and come rule your people. I, I don't want to be king anymore. You can take it, I don't care. No, no. You threatened to kill me. I misunderstood it. So I plotted to kill you. Congrats! Thank you, mother. I heard you are the chosen one. <laughs> hey, I tell you, Ebina, the gods say our hearts. Mm. I am so happy for you. Thank you. Obina, so your game has worked for you, right? Your game has worked for you. But you must know that acceptance is the death of an ambition. So my little brother, do not rejoice yet. Because I haven't accepted. You see, my brother, no, no. Understanding the say is the beginning of acceptance. Now that you know what the God says, that the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. I am not the one who decreed. It's from the gods. Obina. Obina! I swear by this land, if you take away this kingdom from me, I'll kill you. I repeat, if you take away this kingdom from me, I shall kill you. Una, now you'll kill me. You'll kill your wife, brother! Hey, who's that? Oh, it's okay. 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 Your brother told you he will kill you. Fear Obina. The law of nature is survival. Self preservation is the key. If you don't act fast, you will lose your life, lose your throne and your wife, then your unborn child. Mother, what do we do now? Good. The kingdom chose you to be the next king. And you're more important than anybody. Kill your brother before he kills you. Yes. Leadership is what you earn. And your brother is the only obstacle on your way now. So how do we achieve this? And I ended up killing myself. <laughs> Vera, our foster mother, advised me. So she poisoned the one I took. She thought you were going to sit on your chair that I sat on that night. Forgive me. Oh, Obina. Obina. 
Obina! Obina! Doctor! Okay, Obina, listen, listen. Obina! Obina! Doctor! Doctor! Obina! Obina, listen. Obina! Obina! Obina, you are a son of a king. You are not going anywhere. Come back and rule your people. Obina, forget about the struggle! If it's turn over a bridge! Obina, you are a son of a king! Come back! What? No. It cannot be true. Are you sure? Are you sure? I am not blind. I was with him last night. With who? Hoping to hand over for to you later today at night. Thank you. I want this boy. I told him to be careful unless it will take his life. Look at it. The way of the gods is strange. Life has no end. It can only be transformed. Death is an extension of another life. My people, we shall mourn Obina for four months. After which, we proceed to crown Nana as the new king. Woman, you brought the promise you made to our late Igwe that you will take care of his children. By poisoning the glass which Obin eventually used that got him killed. Vera, you are evil. And for doing this to ruin your blood, you shall suffer substantive punishment and later be banished from this community. Yes. And banishment is not enough for you. We will call on our gods of enemy. To lay a curse on you and your entire generations. You are such a wicked woman. You don't deserve to live at all. I am so sorry, Nicole. I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so sorry.
My king, you sent for me. Yes, talent, I... I sent for you. Talent, you see, um, my late brother's death is one pain I haven't recovered from. Now that he is no more, if I leave married, she would get married to another man. So? And don't forget, she is pregnant. She's carrying my late brother's child. That child in there has a royal blood. Talent. I intend to marry Merit so she can remain in the palace so that I can at least take care of my late brother's child. You see, traditionally it is called Nkuchi. Nkuchi simply means... Don't tell me what Nkuchi is! So this has been your plan all along? been your plan to share my husband with me I will not share my husband with anybody let alone this woman have you forgotten that her husband tried to make me a widow and I'm sure you had a hand in it didn't you oh you want to take my position wait 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 are you trying to hide a pregnant woman Anna. Listen to me. Listen to me. God. Take her away. Take her away. If you touch me, I will banish you from this land. I will banish you. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you alright? Did she hurt you? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. But I would like to talk to you. And it would give me great pleasure to say what is on my mind. That, that's, that's fine. That, that's all right. I'm just coming from the hospital. Right, right. And the scan here shows that I have a male child. Obina oh. is back. And I think I'll be here for him. That's, 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 that's good news. I mean, I'm happy to hear this. Listen, let's see your people and begin to perform the traditional rites immediately. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Our tragedy in life is not what we have, but what we want. You want me, but your wife talent does not want me. And remember, 
It was what you and Obime wanted that cost him his life. So, please let me remain here at the palace for him and my unborn baby. been coronated. The elders are here. Your yeah, in-laws are here too. Okolo, your father's best friend, is also here witnessing. We accompanied you to sit on your father's throne safely so that I will know what to tell of your family. Israel Highness, Igwe Nana, Uzoma, May you honorably sit on your throne. And okay, the police. Cha cha cha, I can look at kingdom. Come on. Honestly, do not know how to express myself. It has been a long journey we have traveled. But I believe in something. I believe that every journey has an end. And I also believe there is light at the end of every tunnel. As we can all see. The light is shining on our faces. A new king has emerged. So I want you all to drink, celebrate, eat, rejoice. Because I have an announcement to make soon. <laughs> <laughs> People of Akalaka Kingdom, I called for this gathering Some of you know my reason while some of you don't. This pot in my hands contains the water of Oviamili. I hereby swear an oath that if the unborn child of my late brother Obinna comes out to be a male, He shall rule after me. Hey, my king. And so shall it be. <laughs> 